Good morning, I'm Clint Griffiths. Some residents in rural America are on high alert right now. After a train derailment and fire brought concerns about dead animals and worries about the safety of their drinking water, it centers around the town of East Palestine, Ohio, home to about 4,700 people. This started when a train carrying hazardous materials derailed on February 3rd in the town near the Pennsylvania border. State officials say the chemical spill following the derailment killed 3,500 small fish across more than seven miles of streams. One resident about 10 miles east reported five of her backyard chickens died suddenly. She says they died after the rail operator burned train cars carrying vinyl chloride in order to prevent an explosion following the derailment. But state and federal officials say testing so far has shown things are safe, and Ohio Ag officials say they haven't seen anything in the livestock community to cause concern. More than 200 homes in the area have been tested and cleared by officials. There's new things now that I think are the issue and going to be an issue going long term. One of the bigger ones that were lost was the petro petroleum lube oil. Uh, each tanker carries about 30,000 gallons of that, and there's two tankers unaccounted for. So that's almost six or 60,000 gallons of that petroleum lube oil that spilled out into our local soils. Ohio's governor, Republican Mike DeWine, is now calling on Congress to look into federal railroad regulations. He says he was told the railroad company was not legally required to alert anyone in the state about the cargo because only some of the cars on the train were carrying hazardous materials. The company should pay for everything. Uh, and, you know, I talked to the CEO yesterday. I said, look, uh, I said there's concern with some people in East Palestine that you're going to leave before you get the cleanup done. You're going to leave before the, the problems are, are dealt with. And, you know, he pledged to me, we're going to stay. We're going to hold them to the, what they said. We're going to hold them accountable. Uh, they're responsible for this. They're responsible for a very serious train wreck that occurred uh, with some very toxic material. The official cause of the derailment is still under investigation.